One of the things that you might want to consider adding early in your workflow is the notion of metadata. Adding information about the particular file and embedding that information inside the file itself so it travels with the file. There's lots of different metadata that you can add to a particular image. And in fact, almost every image comes with at least some little bit of metadata embedded inside it that was put there when you took the picture on the camera. So if I click on any thumbnail here and take a look at the metadata panel inside the Essentials workspace, you'll see there's a bunch of information like file size and resolution and the color profile, when it was taken. All that information is stored inside that file. Now, if I take the scroll bar here, you can see there's a lot more information you could add. Each one of these is a field that could contain additional information here. And it may be that there's a certain base set of information that you want in all your images, perhaps your name and your web address or your email address. You can even create different types of templates or metadata templates based on project type or client type. So this isn't something you have to do manually, image by image by image. If there's a base set of information that you want to add and apply to every single image right at the get-go, you can actually create what's called a metadata template, then just batch process that. So to do so, under the Tools menu is a command called Create Metadata Template. We'll go ahead and choose that. And this brings up a dialog box where it has all the fields that you could add information to. Now, this isn't going to add any information to a particular file because I don't have anything selected now. This is just creating the template that I can apply later. So in this particular series of images, these were done by just an unbelievably talented photographer. His name is Nick Onken. So I'm going to go ahead and add his name to this template. And we'll go ahead and call this template Nick Onken. And his title, of course, is Photographer. And we're going to add his website address in here. If you haven't heard of Nick before, go to his website and check out his work. It's very inspirational. and might give you some creative inspiration there. It's just nickonkin.com. Great. So we've added these base fields of information that we want in our template. And hit Save. And now if we want to apply that metadata to all our images, we just go ahead and select the images that we want to apply that template to. In this case, we'll do everything. So select all, Command A or Control A. And under the Tools menu again, you tell it to append or replace metadata. Now, if this set of images already had a bunch of metadata and you just wanted to add what's different to the existing metadata set, you would use the append command. If you just want to replace all the metadata that's in there with this new set, then that's what you would use the replace command for. I'm going to go ahead and use the append metadata command. And there's the name of the template we just saved. So you can have as many of these templates as you want. And you just simply choose the template that you want to apply to the selected image. And it just goes ahead and does what you asked it to do. It does it in the background. You can see down here in the bottom left of the window. It was so fast it went by really quickly. But you can continue to do work. You can go back to Photoshop. You can deselect and click on any other image. It's going to process that information in the background until it's done. So now you can see here when I click on any one of these thumbnails, you can see in the metadata panel it now says Creator Nick Onkin. And the photographer is his job title. And if I scroll down a little bit more, you'll see there's his website right there. So there you have it, a very quick way to create metadata templates and then apply those to your images automatically very quickly by using the metadata template functionality.